Hi guys, welcome back. It's Mrs. Peterson, that lady who teaches art, and today I'm going to show you our last step on our Jackson Pollock splatter painting. So today you're going to get your paint tray back with your dried painting. Um, we've already done two steps, so if you miss those, go back and watch step one or step two video. But today is step three, and it is the most splatteriest of all. That's not a real word, but I made it up. Today we're going to be using only one color of paint, which is black, and I will take the lids off of these paints for you. But you're going to have your cup of black between you and a buddy at your table. So I'm going to put mine over here so you can see it on the screen. Then each of you is going to get um, a piece of string that's pretty short or yarn and a clothespin. You're going to clip your string in your clothespin and our goal is not to get any black paint on the clothespin today. We only want paint on the yarn, okay? So what you're going to do is you're going to take your yarn and you're going to dip it right in your black paint and then you are going to have a paint catcher under you and you're just going to start splattering it on your paper. Now, as I mentioned, this is the most splatteriest of all the steps, but should any paint get splattered on you? No. And remember, we're trying to repeat um, our lines and our shapes and our colors just like Jackson Pollock did. Um, so try to make your lines similar and try to make them all over your paper. Right now I don't have any on the bottom, so I want to make sure I get those. Come back. And I can go right off the edge into my tray if I need to so that I can get some right up to the edge. When you are done with your black splatter painting, you are going to put your hand under this. Not Don't, don't re-dip it in paint. You're going to, after you've used it all out, you know, then you're going to put your hand under this and you're going to walk over to the trash can and pretend that this pan right here is my trash can. Above the trash can, you're going to release and that string is going to fall down in the trash can. Okay. I'm going to have a spot by the trash can for your clothespins. You're going to put that there. And then your painting will stay in your tray just like it always does. And we're going to take our trays over to the side of the room where they dry. Okay? All right, guys. I can't wait to see what you create. Mm -hmm. 